Hi everyone, Serious Blue here with a very tutorial. Today we're going to go over the very basic idea of how to layer clothes in the Vroid program. This is a very useful tool to customize and get as close as possible to the design that you may have, which uh, has always been limited in the past to the clothing that you can use on Vroid. But with layering, it's going to help you with this. So. We'll just go into the screen now. Here we go. So basically this is my Vroid model. She's all loaded in. I've just put her in like the very basic <laughs> underpant uh, attire here so that you guys... It like, just makes the tutorial a bit easier. Easier. Blah 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 blah. So you can have whole sets of clothes. These ones are already in the program, right? And you can click on the custom item to find stuff you've already saved here. But what we're going to do is create something new. The first thing you want to do is make sure that it's in the category that you want to save it in. So let's just say we're going to do a dress. We're going to custom items and we'll click on the new item. It is a good idea to use something that you are going to utilize in the final thing because we are limited to I think it's about five four or five different layers that you can have maximum per thing so uh yeah this layer would you'd have like five different ones you're not just limited to dresses which we'll go over and then it's also the same in other um parts so shoes will be a, a different different thing all right so let's just start off with this over the shoulder dress and what you want to go into is edit texture and this is where the magic happens uh, sometimes it takes a minute to load okay so uh, she's wearing you know underpants so that's why this is here with our little you know and do thing skin mask is really important so if you don't want clipping through an outfit, uh, you just edit this layer. Okay, so white is where the skin will show and then you just color in black where you want to hide the skin and that's something you could probably do a little bit later on. But we're going to start with this. Uh, let's just edit this to make it a little bit shorter. Click this little thing to make sure it's mirrored on both sides. Uh, and then I'm just going to, you know, <laughs> Go a little bit wild um, with that. So let's just say this is part of the outfit that you wanted. Then we're going to add another texture. So I can minimize this and I could add a template right here. You can stack up to five templates on top of each other. Actually, you can put shoes and things in here to make it more like if you just want to click on an outfit and have the whole thing there. You can do that, as well as, you know, neck accessories, all sorts of things. I'm going to go with bottoms. Hmm. Let's go with shorts. She can have some shorts. It doesn't really look very nice, so... What I can do is right... Uh, sorry, I just click on those dots and click delete, and that'll delete it. However, you can't delete that main layer, that original layer, so I would like you to consider that. <laughs> Uh, with this. That's why that first one is the most important. The others you have a lot more room to play with. Mm. Pencil skirt? We'll go with the pencil skirt. Okay. So now we have a penciled skirt. If you want to see these lines, click on that and that then you can adjust whatever parameters that specific layer has available to it there so we can make that a little bit wider it is a little bit glitchy sometimes when you work with multiple layers but um yes essentially that's how it works let's add some shoes, some heels, 
So now that's underneath this one. And you could add, let's have a look. An arm accessory. Now the arm accessories are going to show up with the full body. So you don't have to just use, you know, arm things on this. Uh, you could, oops, happening here. Skin overlay. Oh, I get it. Goes up as an arm thing. Okay. Is it gonna, hello? It not drawing on here. Oh, because I'm on the eraser. <laughs> Use the arrow, it's fine. It's fine, it never happened. Um, it never happened. Okay, so make sure you're on the pen if you want to draw. Okay. So you can kind of, you know, customize different things here. And essentially, when you exit it, it'll be save as a new item. Well, I'll override it, because... I'll do. I would probably uh, do the shoes in another separate thing, uh, just because maybe that's something you might want to swap out. But if it's a specific outfit, then you know, just keep that in mind. So I'm going to click on this one. So I've just got the dress saved in that. Um, this one was a work in progress. <laughs> That I don't think I'm actually going to use, but whatever. And then click back to this, and you can see that it's actually saved there as an item. And if you go into the folder, you'll be able to pick this one out and uh, duplicate it. The only other thing you want to test is your skin mask. So click on that little um, camera up there. Poses and animations, and like get them to wiggle around a bit. And then you can see if the skin is showing through on anything, which it looks fine to me. But yeah, that is the basics of how to layer clothes in Vroid. So I hope that helped you uh, and could possibly help you get some new ideas and how to create things. And again, this is how I created uh, my original outfit as well with the multiple layers because you can adjust the parameters so you could have maybe one that's a little bit um, wider than the layer that's underneath it and you can yeah you can do a lot of things it's just limited really to your imagination and the uh, specific parameters that you can use but as you can see the program is greatly improving from where it started so I'm excited to see what new uh, clothes and different things they'll come up with. I hope that this video was helpful to you. I know it's only a short one, uh, but everything can be layered quite easily and is a lot more easily accessible. Mm, so, um, yeah, let's see. Maybe I can try adding like a jumper or something onto it. So I kind of want to get rid of the heels because and the skin overlay because there's nothing on there. Um, and let's use something that I know I can make a bit bigger. <laughs> and then you'll need to go into that parameter. Oh, I can make this one wider. Oh, I can. <laughs> so, yeah, I hope that this helped. You don't have to stay for the rest of it. That was pretty much the gist of what's going on. Oh, I should have had this. Always helps to have that there. Also, when it comes to... <laughs> Ah. 
hoodies, that little part there is the pocket, so you always need to erase that if you're not using that part of it. Otherwise, as you can kind of see it, it still throws off a little bit there. Eh, missed. I've missed it a bit somewhere. There we go. And then I could like erase the entire hood maybe. I can see that I've missed pit bits. <laughs> I've missed bits here and there. Uh, did you, did you, did you, did you, are they here earrings or did I? No, I missed something. Let me get that. Alright. So let's just say that's our outfit. And then it'll ask us to save. I usually just override it. You can save it as a new item as well. I just thought since we're doing layering, I was like, ah, do more than just a bottom and a top, you know? There you go. So, that's how you layer clothes <laughs> in Void again with the outro. I hope that that helped you guys. Let's go back to the talking page. Ready? Okay, so thanks for watching the video today. I hope this was helpful to you and gave you some ideas or at least just if you've never used the program before <laughs> or you're moving from beta to studio, maybe this is something you just wanted to figure out how to do it. But once you get started and have a bit of a practice, it is pretty intuitive. Uh, you are limited to those five layers, so uh, yeah, it's just finding ways to work around to create the outfit that you desire. So I hope that that helped you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Let me know what you would like to see more of. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.